for this tutorial you will need your yarn. I'm using Starcraft Special Chunky in lipstick and in cream. This is the yarn that I suggest for this pattern as this is the yarn I've used to create the three different sizes that it's available in. You will need a 6mm crochet hook, a darning needle and a 7cm pom pom maker. So we're going to begin this tutorial by starting this very um, first headband bit and then working our way up to right to the very end. So you want to take your cream colour yarn or white yarn, whichever you've chosen to use, and you want to begin by creating your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. So you're going to insert your hook and you're going to begin by chaining six. So that's yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through. That's two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to be working back along this chain now into the second chain from the hook. And we're going to be working a half treble crochet. In the US this is known as half double crochet. So it's yarn over, and insert your hook into that second chain from the hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through and you'll have three loops on the hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. You're going to do that again into each of the stitches that are remaining along that chain. So that's three, four, and five. So that is your first row and for this particular size pattern which is the larger of the three for six to twelve months we're going to do 35 of these in total. So now what you want to do is chain two and turn your work. This is going to class as the first half treble um, in this section and then we're going to work into one, two, three, and four, and that will make five. So it's yarn over, we're not going into this base one here, we're going into the next one over, and you're going to insert your hook into the back loop of that stitch. So you see the, the two, it's like a V just here, not the front one, we're going into the back one. So grab the yarn and pull it through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So that's one, two, three, and then the last one, sometimes a little bit trickier to see, four. So that's classing as five um, stitches, one, two, three, four, and then chain two is the fifth one. You're then going to chain two, and go into the third row. So again, we're doing exactly the same thing. One, two, three, four stitches. So yarn over, insert into the back loop again, and do your half treble. Into the back loop, half treble, into the back loop, half treble and then again the last one might be a little bit more tricky to find but into the back loop whoops might just have to wiggle it around a little bit there we go and half treble so again you would chain two turn your work and do exactly the same thing. So this is now one, two, three rows. So you want to pause the video and work your way until you reach 35 rows and then meet me back once you're ready. So this is how my work is looking at the moment. So it's just one long piece and this should measure around 17 inches. Now what I'm going to do is leaving the um, yarn still attached just here, we're now going to work along this edge just doing double crochets which is single crochets in the US 
um, just to neaten off this edge. So you're going to start off by chaining one and then you're just going to work into the gaps um, just along that edge. So it doesn't really matter exactly where you do these, um, just try and do it nice and evenly. So I'm just going to go in this gap for example, um, grab the yarn, pull through and then grab the yarn and pull through. Both loops on the hook for a double crochet. So you're just working your way all the way along. So go ahead and pause the video, work your way to the other end and I shall meet you back and show you how to connect this and then start working up the hat. So this is how this edge is looking, so that's just neatening off the edge slightly. Now make sure you don't put too many stitches in along that row because it actually um, stretches out the band. Um, so don't do too many, um, you just want to do them sort of loosely along. Now what we're going to do is fold this in half, so one side is um, pressing against the other and obviously make sure that this doesn't have a twist in it at this stage. And what we're going to do now is actually insert our hook into the corner of the opposite side. So we're going to go into the corner just like this, grab the yarn and then pull through and just slip stitch. And you're just going to slip stitch this seam together. So you're going to go in the front, in the back and slip stitch. Front and back and slip stitch all the way to the end. Oops. And then making sure that you get right into the very corner of the edge. Sometimes this can be a bit fiddly, especially when you're trying to do it on camera. Um, so yeah, right into the very edge. So that's connecting those two pieces together. Now what I'm going to do is chain one just to secure that and I'm actually going to flip this inside out so you're just flipping it so now that the seam is on the inside and then you can see that this is the basis of our hat now. So for this round we're going to do a double crochet all the way around this top edge um, and this is going to create the foundation for the next rows and around this um, edge we want to get 52 stitches in total so we've just chained one I'm going to chain another one just to class as the first double crochet and then I'm going to go into the next space so doing a double crochet so there's no set areas where you're going to go into this but in general it's kind of one here one here one here, you're, you're kind of looking to get um, at least one in every row, so you've got the, the, the dip here and then the peak and then the dip, okay? So what I tend to do is just when I get round to the other side, I want to have done half of those, so round 25 and then work my way round. So you're aiming for 52 stitches in total including this chain one, so this, uh, sorry this chain two, so this chain two is the first stitch, then the second stitch, three, four and so on. So it might take you a couple of goes in order to get to 52 stitches um, but it's important that we do get 52 by the time we've got round to the beginning. If you need to mark this stitch here so you know this is the beginning then feel free to do so but you should know from this seam here. So go ahead and work your 52 double crochet, single crochet in the US all the way around this top seam and meet me back once you get to the beginning. Okay, so I've just worked my way all the way around and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these. So I'm going to insert my hook into this very first stitch just here and this is where I'm going to change colours. So I'm going to slip that stitch on, drop my cream yarn to the back. Now I'm going to grab my red yarn, um, make a loop like this and then grab it and pull it through. So through 
and through and that just introduces that new colour. So you've got your long thread here and you've still got your cream yarn attached. If I pull on that you see how it pulls down and cinches in that very first stitch. I'm going to grab um, my yarn as I would normally and then also pull on this thread and chain one. And then once you chain one you can just pull those both of those stitches and that is your change of colour. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to do um, treble crochets. So this is double crochet in the US. And we're going to start off by chaining um, three. So that was one, two and three that we've just done. And we're going to work into this very first gap just here. So if you look closely, um, it's connected into the bottom there and then you almost have like a long stitch just here We're going to do our treble crochet in there. So yarn over Insert into that stitch yarn over pull through you'll have three loops on the hook Yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two. So this is start classing as our first um, Our first treble and then we have another treble just here so our last row consisted of 52 stitches and now what we're going to do is we're going to start decreasing these rows. So we're going to start off by doing a chain three and then five trebles. This is our chain three. This is one, two, three, four and five. So that's our chain three and five trebles. Now what we're going to do is treble crochet two together. So the way that we do this is start off by doing a treble. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to leave those two loops on the hook. Then we're going to yarn over and insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, you'll have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. And you can see how that brings those two stitches together and creates one stitch at the top. So we've done our chain three, one, two, three, four, five trebles, and then treble crochet two together. So that is the start of this row. We're now going to do another pattern and this pattern is going to repeat uh, for five times um, all the way around. So we're going to do six trebles. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to treble crochet two together. So yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three. And you're going to repeat that part of the pattern, so six treble crochets, treble crochet two together, five times in total. So that is the first one. Go ahead and do that same section four more times and then meet me back at the end. You will have some stitches still remaining. Now that you've done that, you should find that you have four stitches remaining. So you're going to do a treble in each of those stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And now we're ready to connect to the beginning. So you want to find that chain three and look for the uh, for the top of the first stitch. So again, we're going to put that onto our hook. We're going to let that um, thread drop to the back and then we're gonna pick up the cream yarn that was left from our last row and then grab that and pull it through all of those loops 
on that hook. So again, you can pull on the threads and just pull it nice and tight. And what you're going to do is chain three. So you'll one, two, three. So when you've done that, you can just pull again on the threads and then it will make it nice and secure. So again, this is classing as our first stitch and for this next round, what we're going to do is start off by doing three trebles, again into this very first stitch next to the chain three. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to treble crochet two together, just as we've done before. And then we have a pattern that we're going to work to again. So this time it's going to be five trebles and then treble crochet two together. and then treble crochet two together. And you're going to repeat that pattern, so the five trebles and treble crochet two together five times and then meet me back once you've done that and again we'll have some stitches left over. Now that you've repeated that pattern five times, you should be left with five trebles um, at the end. So you're going to do your last five trebles. Four and five. And we're going to do the same thing, and this will be the same for every row. So um, you're going to connect by finding the top of the first stitch. It might help for you to bring your yarn that you're not using to the opposite side, just so you don't get tangled up. Uh, but grab the red yarn, pull that through, and you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then you can again pull on that thread just to pull it nice and tight. So now we are on to the next row. So the previous row um, now consists of 40 stitches now that we've um, connected two together. So this row is really easy, you're simply going to do your stitch in the first place as normal and then you're going to do one treble crochet into every stitch around this row. So go ahead, pause the video, work a treble into every stitch, you'll have 40 stitches in total including this chain 3 and meet me back once you get to the beginning. I've worked my way around and I've done my 40 stitches, I'm going to find the top loop and then I'm going to grab my cream yarn and pull that through and chain 3. One, two, and three. And then pulling on this so it's nice and tight. So this next round then is going to consist of uh, beginning with eight treble crochets. So into that first stitch. One, two, three, four. And then treble crochet two together. And then the pattern this time is nine treble crochets and then treble crochet two together. And you're just going to do that twice. So nine trebles, treble two together, nine trebles, treble two together. Okay, so pause the video, go ahead and do that and meet me back once you've done. So now that you've repeated that pattern twice, you will end up with seven stitches remaining. Go ahead and do your trebles in there, connect and then chain three for the next row. So seven trebles in here, connect and change your colour and then chain three and meet me back for your next row. So you should see your hat now getting smaller and smaller. 
So we're now on to the next row and for this row what we're going to do is start off by doing six trebles. And then treble cro crochet two together. You're then going to do seven trebles and treble crochet two together three times. So pause the video, seven trebles, treble two together three times and meet me back once you've done. So for this round it works out that you only have one treble left on the end so I'm going to go ahead and do that last treble and then change my colours. For this round we're going to start off by doing four trebles. One, two, three, and four, and then treble crochet two together. And then for this pattern repeat, we're going to do five trebles, treble two together three times. So go ahead and do that five trebles, treble two together three times, and meet me back once you've done. So at the end of this round you'll have five trebles remaining, go ahead and do those five trebles, change your yarn and meet me back for your next round. So for this row we are going to start off by doing three trebles, one, two and three, treble crochet two together, And then we're going to do a repeat of four trebles, treble two together three times. So go ahead and do those and meet me back once you've done four trebles, treble two together three times. So now with this row um, it is slightly different, we're just going to do three trebles, one, two, and three and then you'll have two left which we're going to treble crochet two together. So go ahead connect and change colour meet me back for your next row. To begin this row we're going to do two trebles one and two and then treble crochet two together And then the repeat for this row is three trebles and treble crochet two together three times. So do that and meet me back in just a moment. So three trebles, treble crochet two together three times. So now we're left with four stitches. So we're going to do two trebles, one and two, and then treble crochet the last two together. So again, go ahead, change your colour, meet me in the next row. You'll notice that we are getting nice and thin at the top now. So for this round, we're just going to do one treble and then treble crochet two together. And then the repeat is um, two trebles, treble crochet two together three times. So go ahead and do that and then meet me back in just a moment. So at the end of this round you're going to do one treble crochet and then treble crochet the last two together. Go ahead and change your colour. 
Okay, so the next four rows are really, really easy. You're going to do your chain three, and then you're just going to do one treble into each space all the way around, and you'll find that you have 14 stitches, including this chain three. So go ahead, pause the video, do your four rounds of this stitch, and then meet me back once you've done. So now that you've done those four rows, the next row is going to start off by doing three trebles. One, two, and three. Treble crochet, two together. And then we're going to do four trebles one, two, three, and four, and treble crochet two together, and then in the last two stitches you're going to treble crochet two together, and you're going to change your colours and move on to the next row. So for this row, um, the last row consisted of 12 stitches, this row we're going to get down to um, 10 stitches, so we're going to treble crochet the first two spaces together, and then you're going to go ahead and do a further 9 stitches, and then change colour and meet me back for the next row. Okay, so I've changed this now, and apologies, the last row was actually for the eight stitches rather than nine. So I've changed this now, and you're going to do um, a chain three and nine stitches all the way round, and you're go going to do this for a further nine rows. So this will be the first and then eight more, or however long you want the, um, the dangly bit <laughs> of this elf hat to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of those rows and then meet you back and show you how to tie on your pom-pom. Okay, so I've now done, I ended up doing 10 rows, uh, but as I say, you can do as many rows as you want to with those rounds of 10 trebles. And this is going to be my last row. So I'm going to insert my hook into the top uh, grab the yarn and pull it through and then yarn over and pull through and then I'm going to snip off my yarn so snip off both of them leaving enough of an end in order to sew in those colours and then all you need to do is sew in these ends so I'm going to go ahead and sew in the red first of all and also the ends down at the bottom but you want to leave this cream one free or whichever one you've just tied off leave that free and I'll show you what to do with that in just a moment so when it comes to this end seam uh, what you want to do is just lay it so it's nice and flat and I'm simply going to use this uh, thread just to sew up the end uh, just to make that nice and secure. And I'm going to go ahead and make my pom-pom in just a moment. Um, I do have a separate tutorial for using a pom-pom maker, so I shall link that down below for you. Um, so you want to go ahead and create your pom-pom. Uh, the pom-pom that I'm using is a 7 centimeter uh, pom-pom. But obviously you can make it whatever size you like, you can do a bigger one if you want to or a smaller one, it's totally up to you, totally your preference. So go ahead and make your pom-pom, I'm struggling to pull that out there, go ahead and make your pom-pom and I shall meet you back in just a moment. So when you make your pom-pom you want to leave a nice long thread on the end so that you can sew this onto your work and what I'm simply going to do is take my darning needle and then pop it right through the middle just like this and then I'm going to sort of go back into my pom-pom and just sew it on so then go towards the outer edge like that and then back through might be a little bit fiddly and 
and then sew onto the opposite edge and then once it's nice and secure you can tie off your thread And there you have your elf hat. So I'm going to be making a PDF pattern for uh, 0 to 3 months, 3 to 6 months and um, obviously this is the 6 to 12 months hat uh, with all the measurements which will be available on Bella Coco store. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!